The 2012 Stagecoach Festival is underway right now. Now this is not the country music festival that most people think of in Indio. Instead, it is a festival celebrating the wild, wild west in the small town of Banning, California. This wild west encampment featured a gunfight competition. In addition, Stagecoach rides were offered. Many of us put many hours and dollars into providing our costumes, our guns, and because we love the Old West and the Old West ways. Tell me a little bit about what's been going on over here. Well, this weekend, a bunch of us reenactors, we're all members of the Reenactment Guild of America. We get together and we put on skits, reliving the old days of the Old West, any time from 1865 all the way up to 1899. As, as you can see, our clothes are period correct, our boots are period correct, and our guns are period correct. And we include its family, so all the skits are family oriented, the dialogue is period correct, and we just have a good time. So you're out here in Banning right now, so what are some of the other places you go? Oh, we do things like uh, Calico Ghost Town, Yuma, Arizona Gathering of Gunfighters, uh, Gold Strike in Yuma, or in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. We uh, oh, we just did a uh, show at uh, Santa Clarita in honor of Santa Clarita's historical days. So we we travel all over the country at our own expense, and we just have fun because we love to share the old west with everybody around. So this would be your day job? Uh, no, actually, I live the life of the old west, but yeah, this is my day job. On the week, on the regular weekdays, I help out my my sweet lady at her uh, daycare facility. All right. Any other comments you'd like to share? Oh, just I hope that next year many of you folks see this on TV and decide to come on down and join us. We have a good time. There's a stagecoach ride, the fairgrounds, and a lot of good, clean, wholesome cowboys who will gladly spend a few minutes of their time with you talking about the old west and maybe even sharing a cup of coffee with you. Oh, that's cool. These two girls from Beaumont, California gave the mechanical bull a try, but they didn't last very long. So is this your first time at the Stagecoach Days? No, this is my third year. Coming. This is my first. So you're uh, helping out the uh, church there? Yes, um, the petting zoo for Life Point Church. Yeah. Now you just got off the uh, mechanical bull here. How was that? Um, painful. It was, it was fun. Hard. Was it your first time ever riding one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So how long would you say you uh, lasted on there? Probably about seven seconds, maybe. <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's talk about the other parts of the festival. Have you heard the music, entertainment? I haven't. I, sitting around here at the petting zoo, I heard some down there. It sounds pretty good, but I haven't watched it yet. What about like the uh, food? Have you tried any? Um, we tried Ponies Express and they have really good smoothies. Oh. I tried nachos down there somewhere at one of the booths and it was pretty good. Have you been on any of the other like rides here? No, I haven't been on rides yet. No. You thinking about it or no? Maybe. I might buy some tickets. <laughs> For the kids, there were carnival rides and midway games. Uh, so what do you got out here today at the Stagecoach Festival? Oh, we've brought glycerin bars and French milled bars that we make here in town, Beaumont. We also have our cucumber-based lotions that we've matched the scents with the soap bars. And uh, they're all natural. No additives, no preservatives, and, uh, and no oil byproducts in them. So these are all made from home? Yes, they are, in our kitchens. So, so uh, how much are they uh, selling for here? Well, here today we're selling them for $3.50 for the glycerin, $4.50 for the milk, and $6.50 for a six ounce bottle of natural lotion. And so where will you be after today, after the festival? Well, we will be at um, next year's Beaumont Market Night. Yeah, that's really taken off. Um, we'll be there. We will be at uh, the Big Bear Oktoberfest. So we're just trying to stay with local events try to keep it all local and support our community. Is there a website too? We haven't got a website yet. We're brand new. This is our first show and we're really happy to be here. 
Yes. Yes. How has the turnout been? For this event, um, I would have liked it to be better. I would have liked it to be better, but I've met a lot of really interesting people. We've had fun. Anything else you'd like to tell me about the business? Well, come and see us. It's Sweet Sensations at Yahoo.com. You can email us, and we'll be happy to fill any orders. And uh, please come and try our soaps. We're really, we're really proud of them. The Radio Flyers Band provided the music on Sunday at 1 p.m. So is this your first time at the Stagecoach Days? No. I've been coming for a few years. That's the same. So what do you think of the festival here? Um, it's alright. It's better than last year. Last year was boring. But this year it's a lot better. I don't know, the rides are better, I think. I think it's been better in the past, but this year is way better than last year because last year there wasn't really anything. Okay. What about like the uh, food? Have you tried any? Yeah. I was eating at Domino's and like all the other places. It's pretty good. I haven't eaten. No. Are you getting hungry? No. <laughs> I just got here. Yeah. Well, tell me, did you like the entertainment, the music? I didn't really watch it. Me either. <laughs> Uh, so you're in the rides area here. What rides have you gone on? We just got off of that <laughs> one, so... Yeah, it was That's the first one I've went on <laughs> so far. So do you have like a wristband? We just have to buy tickets because they're not doing wristbands this year. No.